will turn the baton over to the future world champion, Terry Norris. This is my last fight. Thank you for coming out. God bless you all. Ladies and gentlemen, from Washington, D.C., he's back. Here is the former six-time champion of the world, the Sugar Man, Sugar Ray Leonard. In the previous nine years, he had but seven tails. So uh, Hector Camacho, who has been very... Get, get the heart rate going, make him fight. He has kept the fast punches in the face of Ray. He scored and he's not been hit. You know, there was a big play in the fight and has been down only once in his career. Whoa, that was a nice Zaracino. Oh, good shot there by Middleton. Leonard is down. He was hurt, he was trying to grab hold of Hector Camacho. Sugary Leonard having difficulties getting to his feet. And you know Hector Camacho will seize this window of opportunity and go right at him. Sugary Leonard in trouble. So much time remaining to try to survive this fifth round. Joe Cortez is ready to stop this fight. Camacho landing, Cortez should stop it now, it's time. There it is. And it's all okay, over. Okay. He guaranteed it. We'll look at it again as we talked about no win situation. Sugar Ray Leonard. Fighting at the bell. Good luck, both of you. All right, there it is. Takes up is in a bedlam already. Oh, what a beautiful left hand. Ali is yes. left, but the referee told him to kick him up. Yes. That was the referee. Half a minute to Burby coming in on him again with solid punches. Good flurry. It's a big rally for Burby, who always starts the Ali long way. All these Ali punches is, look like they're slowing up Ali's quite a bit. Ali's pushing the right hand now. <laughs> Ali taking a battering on the ropes. Burbick Wilson, looks like he's picking it up. Wilson put in his, on his show. 45 from the shuffle. 
Caught him with a beautiful left hook. Herbig doesn't believe it. Left into the ropes by that left hand. On the right. That took with Parsons Buck. Those aren't those. Herbig is all over him. Come on. Yeah, some good punches will land it. Punch out again now. Punch out again now. On a last second rally. 30 seconds left to go. Herbig drives him back again. Now. It's all over. What a fight. Unanimous decision for Trevor Burbick. Well, there you have it. Trevor Burbick is the unanimous decision. Judge Butler, 97-94. Judge Gray, 99. Should be hanging on. Now with the right hand, the left hand. He's gonna hang on. And he'll stop the fight. Down he goes. Now he's hurt. Good luck, gentlemen, in the body. Showing that right hand to the body and up to the head. But Anderson is not moving as oh uh, he's just wins. Right oh, he, he's going down. Oh, that body shot hurt him badly right around the rib and liver area. This may be a very short night's work, kid. Uh, Step got... one on the comeback trail for Larry Holmes is... Yeah, onto the canvas. You see, he does not have good footing. We can see the canvas giving, but Larry Holmes is also giving oh, a pitch. The, uh, and he goes down a... in the heat. Eddie Eckert waves it off. And not much to go by here. It looks like Larry Holmes very determined in his comeback. But uh, Tim Anderson unable to withstand that right hand to the body. Eddie Eckert stops the fight rightfully so. Larry Holmes a winner by knockout in round one. But Larry Holmes is using that as an extensive sparring session. His problem is just going national TV with that. He's a guy who's just made to order, whether it's Larry Holmes of 1982 or Larry Holmes of 1992. Larry looks good. Now Ray Mercer is fighting out of desperation. Ray Mercer is running out of time. Screaming in the face of Mercer and Holmes saving some in the end. In the final 10 seconds, you'll see Larry Holmes pour it on. And Mercer has, this fight. Mercer has Mercer, nothing left. And Mercer's looking for the final bow. For the winner by unanimous decision from Easton, Pennsylvania, the former heavyweight champion of the world. Oh! Well, those are good shots from Holyfield. He held guard. He's starting to find a way through now, Holyfield. A new part to the equation, and Holmes now has seen the cut and will start snaking out his jab. Holmes has snapped out his jab a few times. It was Ronaldo Snipes, Muhammad Ali, Mike Weaver, Jerry Cooney. A, a good double hook to the head. <laughs> Showboating from Holmes. Lots of action for the 12th round in a, a world heavyweight title fight. Last 10 seconds. Blood still streaming from the eyes. It's all over. It'll go to the judges. For the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Evander Real Deal Holyfield. Call's not giving any kind of movement; is just standing right in front of Larry, which is kind of a not the way to fight him. A little bit of a waiting game going yeah, on. It's like, oh, I tried when I came here for it, nothing worked. And, and this guy still co is coming. It's, it's illegal, but I don't know. I never understood why. I mean, it's close rounds. I think uh, nostalgia and uh, oh, good nice left guy. hand by McCall. Follows it up with the right, now the left. Combinations by McCall. I'll tell you what, a couple of those shots got home pretty good. Cut under the Shook left eye up a little bit. Larry Holmes cut under the left eye. Jam. Oh, he just he just looked at our camera like he almost got it in his eye.
Here comes McCall again. I'll tell you what, Larry will by if Larry not be able to deal with what Oliver has left. Final seconds. McCall finishing oh. with a podium. That is it. All three in favor of the winner and still champion, the Atomic Bull, Oliver McCall. There are even more punches during this fight than uh, Lennox Lewis and David did to David Tua threw in 12 rounds. Who will ever forget the 15th and final round, Holmes versus Kenny Norton, one of the greatest rounds in all of boxing. That was a fight, that was a round that made Larry Holmes again. Larry Holmes would just hold that left jab out. He won't even jab it. That's it. Oh, that is it. That is it. The champion, Larry Holmes. A dramatic punch for Mike Weaver. Mike Weaver is totally out on his feet. I told you, right hand. That right hand from Larry Holmes, a dramatic knockout here. The ninth round, he's never been that far. He just took a big right hand from Larry Holmes. Is Holmes emboldened enough to go after him a little bit? For this fight, for Butterbean, was could he catch Larry Holmes? I, may I add, one's better than Butterbean. Oh! That's the wrong... Oh, my! It didn't hurt Butterbean. He would go out a winner. Oh, left hook. Sends Holmes down. That's called a knockdown appropriately. Sends him against the ropes, and that's the appropriate call by the referee. That is the right call. He did the right thing. Ends with a little bit more curiosity. So. All for the winner by unanimous decision. The boxing legend, former heavyweight champion of the world, the Eastern Assassin, Larry Hall. Jimmy Young by the unanimous decision. Right. Ah, congratulations to Jimmy. Get down, man. Jimmy. I don't... Jim, can I have you facing the camera oh. for one minute? a big left hook by Jerry Cooney. Not landing that time. Obviously, that cross arm defense is a trademark of George's trainer, 76-year-old Jerry Cooney. George is a little bit quicker than he has been in his 19 fights of his comeback. And look at the left. Come up and slice the left. And Jerry Cooney's in big trouble. He's ready to go. And there he goes. Two, three, four, and he is badly hurt. Same position he was in round five against Spinks. A clubbing right hand by Foreman. Now let's see if he's learned anything about how to survive, because he's got a minute and eight seconds left. Oh, and that's it. And I don't think, hey, this fight's over. Wait, championship picture. And tonight he is facing an opponent that George, when he was coming back, would, oh, and right off the bat. Oh, the light heavyweight Oh, speed. there's George turning it on. In Come the back, corner, Lacusta. Matter of fact, that exhibition. And there goes Lacusta here in the third. One, two, three, four, five. Struggling to get to eight, his feet. Seven, He's not going to get up. Eight, nine, you okay? He made it. You right? And Shaking the crowd cheers the effort of Lacusta. Giving up. Oh, big For granted. And there goes Lacusta down for the second time. Right. The crowd Two. urging him to get up again. Three knockdown rule in effect. Five, six, seven, eight. 
Will he make it? No! It is over! Holyfield comes out firing. Left-right combination. Long, and that he couldn't keep up a fairly fast pace. A tremendous right hand. Foreman can absorb punches. Certainly, the two fights that George Foreman has lost previously, he basically lost because he another one and a third one. That was three left hooks in a row, and Holyfield did seem to be jarred. Uh, Holyfield with a combination. Foreman is staggered. George Foreman is staggered. He's in trouble. Holyfield pulls off. They've got more than their money's worth. There's the foul. It ends in a hug. The winner by unanimous decision. And still. George Foreman is just walking in, but he's not throwing any punches. He's not moving in behind that left jab at all. It's his strategy at all. In his first round, Tim, he looked like... And a left from Foreman that landed. And the right hand by Morrison. Foreman a good counter, and then the cat scratches the heck at him. That's what Morrison's been doing. Yeah, Morrison's done that well throughout the fight. That left lane lets them fight. Time, time. He's calling time again. Right. And the bell sounds ending the fight. It really For does. the winner and new champion, Tommy the Duke Morrison. The way I always have my guys fight when they're fighting a southpaw is move to the right, and that's what George is doing. And uh, again, trying to move. Here. Nice combination by George and an answer back. Now trying to take a break. It looks like <laughs> left Solid. and a right inside. Uppercut by Moore, blasted Foreman's chin backward. Counter Atlas. Here we go again with the Atlas. Uh, Michael Moore is that down. Goes Moore on a right hand. An unbelievably close in right hand shot. Touches, am I hurt or what? You know, it gives him, makes him think twice about himself. Stuff like that. And it seems now he's slacked and punching. You see that? Yeah, it's been, been landing the jab at about a 70% clip. <laughs> Hard Did you? I'm not surprised. Harold oh. Letterman, how'd you score the first four rounds? Foreman attempting only 21 punches. Here's a hard right hand across the top by Foreman. Great shape. To our eyes, it appears, he's not in danger of that. For the winner by majority decision and new linear heavyweight champion.